My name is Karen and I'm from the RPL Assessment Centre, the National Learning Institute at Hart Bay. This video is about how to apply for exemptions and who can apply for exemptions. We get many calls from agents requesting information on exemptions. They're wanting to know how can they apply for exemption and what qualifications they need to have in order to apply for an exemption. So now I've covered the exemptions for the qualifications which the National Learning Institute take care of. I have covered the exemptions for the over the age of 60 which the EAAB take care of and I have covered the exemptions for the Fidelity Fund Certificates for the PDE exam which the EAAB take care of. So let me iterate for the qualifications if you want exemptions on those qualifications that you have or think you might be able to apply for an exemption based on those previous qualifications if you've been an engineer if you've been if you have a master's degree in accounting if you have any degree of any sort that you feel might count towards an exemption you come to us you send us an email or you, or you contact our offices and someone will assist you we will request you to send your certificates through to us we will request your subjects that you've taken and the year completed and we will have a look at this, we will assess it, we will let you know if you can apply for those exemptions and once we've established that we'll send you a registration form which you complete. Once we've received confirmation of your payment we'll email the portfolio to you for completion. When, when you receive your portfolio, it will be a small portfolio to complete when you receive this. You phone our offices if you have any questions at all and we will assist you through this. Once you've completed that portfolio, you print all the information out, put it together and send it back to our offices. An assessor will have a look at this, will mark this and Thereafter, if you're found competent and all your certificates are in place and all your details are there, we will send you a certificate stating that you have got an exemption based on these qualifications. Then, this is the actual qualification that you have, it's an exemption on that qualification. Your next step now is to enrol for the PDE exam, which you do through the EAAB. And where do you find the information? You go to the EAAB website. The details of the dates of those exams are on the website. Go in and enroll for your PDE exam. The dates are there, the prices are there. It's an open book exam. You can purchase the information from the EAAB website. And you go in and you write your exam. They will not accept you into the, into the examination rooms without your certificate of qualification, be it your certificate or your exemption certificate on that qualification. So, you need that certificate before they will allow you to write the PDE exam. For further information on any exemptions, please contact our officers or you can find us on the website. Thank you.